Australia has a proud and long history in space. We've been at the centre of international deep exploration for more than half a century, working with our partners at NASA and the European Space Agency. We were there when humans landed on the moon for the first time with the dishes out of Honeysuckle Creek. Our heritage also extends to be one of the first nations that ever launched a satellite into space from our own territory. But what is not known is Australia is home to the world's oldest astronomers and they've used the stars and constellations above Australia to dictate seasonal activities for tens of thousands of years. Australia is an exciting place to work in space today because we're seeing a renaissance, a renaissance in new companies, new technologies being developed to really ensure we use space technologies to improve the lives of all Australians. Space activity in Australia has actually continued since those early days of the space age. We've used space technologies for what we call remote sensing or earth observation to support our primary industries. We've continued to support deep space exploration missions. However, you fast forward to today, and it's very clear that every aspect of modern life relies on space technology. And as a result, the Australian government has really pivoted to understand, no, we need to develop um, some of these capabilities here for our citizens, and so we can be an indispensable partner internationally. And it was actually at the International Astronautical Congress in Adelaide where Australia announced to the world to rapturous applause that we were forming an Australian Space Agency. Our purpose at the Australian Space Agency is to grow a thriving, globally respected and responsible space sector here in Australia. One that lifts the broader economy, uh, inspires and importantly improves the lives of all Australians. Australia's space sector is starting to grow very rapidly. What I like to say is we're moving from a startup phase in this sort of new space era to a scale-up phase. We're seeing that in more satellites, Australian satellites being launched into space. We're seeing uh, space companies of all sizes hiring talent. Uh, we're seeing spaceports being developed around the nation. We have an amazing geography that allows us to launch rockets into space safely, big open ranges, where we can access various uh, types of orbits. But our geography also gives us a really unique view of the sky. Uh, we have a responsible regulatory framework and we're a trusted partner, trusted to protect sensitive technologies. We have amazing talent and what's really exciting for me is a space career is entirely possible in Australia today. Often we think of astronauts and rocket scientists, but the reality is we need engineers, we need scientists, we need uh, policy advocates, we need space lawyers, all the things that can really drive a thriving space ecosystem here in Australia. Every day the agency is working hard to accelerate the growth of our space sector. In consultation with industry, the Australian Space Agency is developing technical roadmaps to set the 10-year aspirational vision and ambition for our nation in space, a guide for the industry on where the market opportunities lie and where they can see the most growth whilst supporting some of the greatest needs of our nation. Since publishing our Communication and Associated Technologies Roadmap in 2020, we've seen well over $100 million invested in the pathways. We are now working on the National Plan for Space, developing a cohesive national space strategy. One of our key programs is what we call Moon to Mars. So our Moon to Mars program is seeing us continue in our long-standing partnership with the US as they look to go to the moon and beyond. Our International Space Investment Initiative has seen Australian organisations collaborate with international space agencies and international space companies on a variety of technologies, from next generation spacesuits to advanced small satellites. In collaboration with the UK Space Agency and Austrade, we are unlocking new trade partnerships between Australia and the UK as part of the UK-Australia Space Brief Framework. Our historic National Space Program for Earth Observation will see us collaborate with partners in the US on Earth observation science, building satellites that are going to allow us to calibrate this amazing data set, both historically and into the future, that allows us to understand our planet. We want to move from a nation that traditionally has just consumed Earth observation data to contribute it to the global community, making us an indispensable partner. We want to be makers, not just takers. It's clear we're seeing a trajectory where we are building more sophisticated satellites in Australia. We are working on how to analyse and use space data to improve the lives of all Australians and address some of our greatest challenges. And we're working on programs that uh, really inspire inspire our youth of our nation to get involved in science and technology and math that not only benefits uh, the space sector but benefits all sectors. <laughs>